Welcome everyone, I'm Quinn, finally back again with another Minecraft texture tutorial. So today I wanted to go over the process for creating animated textures, since they're somewhat complicated and can be pretty hard to get right. Before we get started though, there are a few things I need to clarify. Firstly, I'm using GIMP, so there's no guarantee that the process showcased in this video will track with the tools and layout of Photoshop or any other image editing softwares. Secondly, this is an intermediate level tutorial. I'll be assuming that you already have a basic understanding of how to make textures, and I won't touch on the basics in this video. If you still need to learn the basics, then I'd recommend Alan Becker's texture tutorials. They're a bit old and he uses Photoshop, but they still work pretty well as a basis, and they're the foundation I used when I first approached texturing. Alternatively, I do have two previous texture tutorials in this series, though they might not provide enough information for many beginners. You can check the description box or the suggested videos tab on the right of the screen for any of these. Lastly, my texturing process is a bit unconventional since I create higher resolution recreations of existing textures rather than creating completely new textures from scratch. So depending on what your project is, some of the steps in this tutorial will not apply to you. That said, you should still be able to follow along. So to create an animated texture, there are two systems you'll need to learn. Firstly, you need to understand the animation format that Minecraft uses. And secondly, you need to know how to use the animation systems built into GIMP. We'll start with Minecraft's animated texture format. Okay, so for Minecraft animated textures, there are two different files you're gonna need. So firstly, you have the actual texture file. And then secondly, you have this MC meta file. So the texture file is basically just all of the individual frames of the animation stacked on top of each other. So the width of the file is going to be the resolution of your resource pack. And the height is going to be the number of frames. So like, as you see here, I added these guides for visualization, um, but you can see each of these is an individual texture. Um, and there's 20 of these. And then the MC meta file, this is basically the file that the game is using. It's like the code that the game is using to understand how to animate this texture. So you can create this, uh, basically just create a text file, name it, whatever your texture is, um, and then replace the .txt with .mc meta. Um, if you aren't seeing these file extensions like .txt, .mc meta, .png, uh, then you'll have to go to view and check the file extensions right here. Uh, and make sure when you make this file that the .png stays there. So it should be lava still .png .mc meta not just lava still .mc meta. Okay, so let's take a look at this file now. Okay, so basically the way this works is, so this is telling it that, telling the game that it's an animation. This is telling it how fast to animate, um, which this can only be whole numbers and it can't go, I don't believe it can go below zero or below uh, one. Well, I mean, I suppose you could do zero, but it wouldn't really do anything. And then this is just telling it basically what order to animate the frames in. So in this case, it's going from zero all the way up to 19 and then all the way back to one. And then it will repeat from the start again. And basically each of these numbers corresponds to a position on this texture. So it always starts up at the top right here. This is frame zero. And then frame one, uh, yeah, one, two, three, all the way up to frame 19, which is the 20th frame since there's a frame zero. And basically, however high you make this uh, texture here, that's how many frames will be in the animation. So if you only had five different frames, obviously then doing a frame 20 in the animation won't do anything. So yeah, so in this case, it's going from zero to 19 and then back. So it's basically, it's animating like down, up, down, up, down, up, infinitely, instead of just down, 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 um, which that's, that's important to keep in mind when creating your animation. Okay, so now that we understand how the texture animated texture format it works in Minecraft, it's time for us to actually generate the frames. So we don't want to just individually create all of these frames because 
chances are that's going to animate really terribly. It's not going to have smooth transitions and it'll look more like a slideshow than anything else. Um, so this is where we need to use GIMP's built-in animation features. So you go to filter, animation, and we're going to use blend. So basically the way that this works is it has intermediate frames right here, which what this is doing is it will generate transitional frames between each of your layers over here. Um, but then it will, I don't quite understand how this works, but, but or, or why it does it the way it does, but it kind of composites it with this background, uh, whatever the bottom layer is. So we're leaving this as transparent because, you know, if you did say like a purple background, it would tint the uh, intermediate frames somewhat purple. Um, so for the most accurate and smooth transitions, a uh, clear background works best. So then each of these frames right here, well, each of these layers is a frame that I took from this base texture. Of course, if you aren't creating based off of an original texture, then it, this doesn't matter. You can just create however many frames you want to and decide however many intermediate frames you want and just make sure that the MC meta file reflects, reflects that. But for me, because I'm basing my texture off of this original texture, I sampled frames from here. So I took this first one and I took, skipped every three frames. So I took this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then I, because there weren't enough frames, there's only 20, not 21, I just took this final frame. And that makes up all six of my frames that I decided to choose. And then I chose, so basically what you need to do is, if you want a specific number of frames, um, then you have to kind of do the math, try to figure out how many frames you're going to actually create and then how many intermediate frames you need to create. So like, obviously here, I have six frames here and three intermediate frames. So that's three, six, nine, 12, 15, plus all six of these. So that's going to be 21 frames in the end. So it's not perfect, but it's the best I can get. And I'll just have to delete the final frame. Um, but yeah, so as an example, when I actually create this, here we are, we have 21 frames. And as you can see, these are not fully opaque because our background was transparent, but this actually allows us to really smoothly transition because it's, it's just adding on top of what's beneath. Um, just bit by bit. So these frames were just examples, but now let's create our own.
Now that we've finished our base frames, the final step is to generate the animation and transfer all of the frames to the texture file. However, because the intermediate frames are translucent, we can't just copy and paste the frames as they are, but instead we need to copy the bottom frame over, merge down the frame above it, and then repeat the process until all the frames are finished. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this tutorial useful. Leave a like if you found it valuable, leave a dislike if you found it offensive, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I also have a Discord server where you can learn more about my projects and interact with the community, as well as a Twitter and Instagram where I post new textures. If you want to support me, I also have a Patreon account. Patrons receive various benefits such as weekly or daily development builds in my resource pack immersion, as well as personalized content and more. Links to all these, as well as my resource pack, are listed in the description box below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.